Hello and welcome to this tutorial and welcome to SAP Learning Academy. In this today's tutorial, I'm going to explain about commit and rollback command in SQL script. I will be showing you an example where I will be using the commit and rollback statement so that you can have a good understanding how we can use commit and rollback. Let me first tell you the description and where and how this rollback works. A commit statement actually it commits the current transaction and all changes before the commit command is written to the persistence. Means if you are writing a logic where you are using any update command or insertion command or you are doing some deletion and if you write commit after that then what if the transaction happened before the commit and it's going to save to the persistent table. But the rollback does just the opposite. If you write rollback, then it will rolls back the current transaction and undergoes all the changes since the last commit you have done. So I will show you an example here and so that uh, you can have a understanding on that. I have a table called cost center. So let me just view the data so that we can have a understanding how the data looks like. So the cost center ID. So in this table, uh, we have four entries. Cost center ID, there are fields, there are three fields. So now we are going to operate on this data. And in order to see rollback and uh, commit command, we are going to write a small procedure here. So let me write a procedure. Suppose I am writing a small procedure called create procedure and then suppose proc test okay and then we are writing this as begin command then we are going to write a small update command okay and what we'll be doing so we will try to update the data for cost center 104 suppose we are going to change the validity end value of this uh, for this cost center it is now 2013 so we are going to change to 2018 so let me do that so now we are going to update and we are going to write the update table name this is cost center and set suppose validity end this is equal to suppose 2018 and 1213 okay where cost cost center id is suppose 104 so using this statement we are going to update this table we are going to update this cost center table where the data is 104 to 2018 and after writing this statement if you write commit then this data will be saved to this update table and if we write the same statement now let me show you the rollback how the rollback works so now what we are going to do suppose we are going to change to 2019 and after this statement we are going to write the rollback okay then we will end the procedure so internally what happens in this procedure that so it will update the data for cost center for where the validity where the cost center id is 104 to 2018 and it will commit the data but when this updates are done but using the rollback so this data this cost center table will not be affected so using the rollback command it just uh, uh, re, uh, it just goes back to the upper commit what you have used so let me just execute this procedure and in order to see yes it has successfully created now we will now call this procedure to call the procedure just write call and proc test and if you call this procedure look let me show you the data once again here the data is 2013 for 104 
now it should be 2018 not 2019 so let me just call it and if we execute this so it, it is now successfully executed and now let me refresh the data in this table look we can see the changes in here now the data for 2000 uh, where it was 13 now it is changed to uh, 2018 so this is how uh, this uh, commit and rollback command works i hope you have understood this uh, command using this uh, small example and thanks for watching my video and please look into my other videos those are related to sap uh, script and sap other videos thanks for watching have a nice day